Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Arizona Dreams. Uh, today, we are going to be doing a video about rush hour, uh, specifically covering the East Valley 202 and 101 loops, and maybe even a little bit of a, uh, State Route 60, although we won't be on that. Right now, we're actually jumping right in, and this is the 202, the lower portion of the 202. Um, as you can see, you have by Cooper, just just got out on uh, Gilbert Road, so that should give you an idea where we're at. And you can see that uh, right away we get into some traffic. Now this is not the worst time for rush hour, but this is definitely rush hour. Uh, it is 8.21 and it is a Tuesday morning. Tuesday is also usually not nearly as bad as Monday uh, or Friday uh, and Wednesday for some reason. I don't know the answer to that. So, this is what it is to drive in Arizona for rush hour. A lot of people have asked me, has it become like LA? The short answer is not quite, uh, but it is certainly getting there being as large as it's getting and it's continuing to grow. Join us while we take a commute through 202, 101, all the way up to Scottsdale. So we'll cover a good portion of the Southeast Valley. As you can see, it's starting to slow down a little more so. Uh, one of the things that uh, you will start to pick up on it if you do live in the area, uh, you'll start to learn where the jam spots are. And I will tell you right now that 87 is a main throughway for Chandler, Arizona, uh, from the 202. So a lot of this backup right now is actually coming from 87, uh, which I believe is Arizona Avenue uh, for the street name, but it's a state route. So one of the uh, things that not all the major cities have adopted yet is the HOV lane. Uh, I know in Houston, uh, you actually pay to be on the I-10, to be on the interior lanes. It's a toll road, and it's just the interior two lanes uh, there. So in Arizona, the HOV lanes run from 6 to 9 a.m., which is typically the rush hour, although it does start a little before that, and it, it usually actually goes almost till 10 o'clock, uh, depending on where you're at in the valley. Uh, and that begins again at, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And again, that varies on the start times when traffic will hit, but that's when the HOV lane is open. To be in the HOV lane, you have to have two or more people in your car uh, or have a special plate. Arizona is one of the few states that actually gives a uh, blue cloud plate, which means that your car is green, usually all electric or a hybrid uh, in some fashion. So you'll see Teslas and things like that, uh, the fits. Uh, in here with one one person, but those are the only cars that are supposed to be in here. Also, motorcycles or any vehicle that is classified as a motorcycle, so the three-wheel cars are allowed to drive in here with with an exemption because they are better on gas uh, and more emission friendly. You see uh, on my right the exit for Alma School Road. That's another pretty well-trafficked side street uh, for Chandler. So that's part of the backup there. But then the 101 is coming up next. And this backup is actually for that. You'll see that once we get through this, where the merge from Alma School on-ramp is, it'll actually loosen up a little bit uh, just to tighten back up as, once you get on the 101. And today we're riding in the HOV lane. Uh, obviously, we're going to move a little quicker. The traffic's actually moving pretty well today. So this is the... South, south portion of 202 West, uh, where we're just coming into the merge with 101. And you can see traffic, like I said, has loosened up a little bit. Um, and it'll actually stay loose between here and the 10 if you continue taking 202 West over to 10 towards Ahwatukee. Uh, but we're going to get onto the 101 northbound. You'll see that in a minute. Again, traffic's pretty light this morning. I would say that typically we by about 7.15, 7.30. This is almost always standstill close to it. This, this 
traffic is fairly light today in comparison to what it can be. Uh, I can tell you from experience that I've sat still just about right here. If the first exit is Ray Road and it usually comes down to almost a crawl. Then it'll stay that way all the way till uh, the 60 or just shy of that. It'll pick up and slow down. Um, the 60 and the 101 merge is a mess. It always has been. And you'll see that when we go up that way. Okay, so this is Elliott again. This is a, a, a fairly major side street for Chandler. Um, a lot of people are working in downtown Chandler now. There's been quite a bit of uh, revamping for downtown Chandler as far as business goes. Uh, the housing still is, I think, a work in progress. But this back up here, this is Warner Road here, and the next road up is going to be Elliott. Both of these are pretty thorough through. You can also go uh, west and you're going to Tempe, but a lot of this business is going towards uh, Chandler. A lot of this traffic rather is going towards Chandler. This is South Tempe too, so in case you're wondering why I say a lot of it's going towards Chandler. South Tempe is, is more residential than it is business focused. Again, I can't stress enough, if you can make it work to uh, carpool, uh, you can see that the carpool lane, the HOV lane, definitely has its advantage, because uh, it does tend to move pretty smoothly. Not going to say that you'll do the speed limit the whole way, uh, but it certainly seems to move better than the rest of the lanes. Another thing that you'll notice is the signs, they tell you roughly like uh, US 60 and I-10 intersection is saying right now it takes 17 minutes to get there. ADOT's pretty good about trying to keep you up to date on what the traffic flow is like, as well as crashes. Uh, if there's an accident, they'll, if they're aware of it, they'll try to throw up a, an alert saying, hey, there's an accident uh, at the Guadalupe Road intersection off ramp, uh, so that you're aware. And, all right, I mentioned that um, State Route 60 and the 101's intersection has always been kind of a mess. You can see that even at it's now 8:32, and we're, we're starting to get a little bit of a backup for that because the uh, State Route 60 exits are coming up. And it's not just the exits; the merge is also just beyond it. So we'll go up under the 60, and then you'll see uh, some side ramps and stuff merging in. traffic I mentioned uh, the portion that we just went through on the 101 is majority of that that is getting off anyways is going to Chandler this traffic is either continuing north to Scottsdale like we are today uh, or they're going usually to Tempe there's not a lot of this traffic going to Mesa um, because the portion of Mesa there is it's retail so there may be some for that but um, until ASU finishes their expansion into Mesa a lot of this is going to be going to Tempe that's what this traffic is going to be hitting is Scottsdale and Tempe. Uh, Tempe is on my left, uh, so across the oncoming traffic. Or they're going to Phoenix. Uh, that's the other option. And this is one way to get to Phoenix. The, the, the one nice thing about Arizona in general is the state's gridded. Uh, by that I mean that the major roadways are in a big grid, north, south, east, west. It makes it really easy to locate stuff. Um, it also makes for smoother traffic. That said, there are interstates. Eh, they need a little help with that. Um, the northbound in particular, uh, there's not a lot of options. You got the 101 or the 10 um, or the 17 if you're up north, but uh, 51 if you're coming from up north too. So that part is always a little bit of a mess. So that's why this is, the 101 is always busy because it runs all the way up to Scottsdale uh, and loops around it. All right, so the traffic back up over on the right, the far two right lanes are for the 202 east uh, and the 202 west. The 
202 West will actually have two lanes going to the west, and you can kind of see the traffic sitting still on the overpass. That's for the westbound 202. That'll take you into downtown Tempe, uh, and it also will take you to Phoenix and to the uh, Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, which is another source of traffic uh, that we're adding to the mix. But there's a lot of business. If you look over to my left, all of this is downtown Tempe. There's a lot of business happening in there. Um, this is one of the corridors of business, south, uh, North Tempe, Southeast Phoenix, and Scottsdale. Uh, there's a lot of business happening in these, these areas. So now we're, we're basically in North Tempe, transitioning into Scottsdale uh, in the next couple exits. And this traffic is always busy. A lot of people come from the Southeast Valley to go up to Scottsdale for work. Again, this is not as bad as uh, it can be. It can get much worse, but I still wouldn't put it on par with LA or Houston or Atlanta. All right, this is this is more like a typical rush hour and what I'm used to seeing. Again, I go to work a little earlier. see this is what I was talking about this is typical of what you would see coming up the 101 the majority of the way same thing for I-10 um, that gets backed up when you intersect with uh, State Route 60 uh, and the 202 and then if you go over towards Phoenix it gets bad around the tunnel and some other areas um, if you watch the morning news you'll see they, they're pretty good about showing you what's red and where the traffic's happening Again, just to emphasize, we're in the HOV, so we're moving. Uh, you can see all of the other lanes are pretty much parking right now. This is this is the true rush hour right there. Uh, that's pretty accurate to what it is. So, if you're experienced with other major cities, you can gauge pretty well uh, how we're doing in comparison. So I mentioned uh, the blue cloud plates. This Tesla in front of me has a blue cloud plate. So if you see that plate, you know that they have been granted uh, from ADOT the rights to be in the HOV lane, no matter uh, how many vehicle uh, occupants there are. And for those of you wondering, you know how far into Scottsdale or how north we're going, we'll go past, just past uh, Shea Boulevard. So that's fairly into North Scottsdale. And it, it is now a quarter to nine, so traffic is starting to thin up. So I want to say Shea Boulevard is the next exit. And Shea Boulevard is a pretty busy uh, street. I'm sorry, Cactus. Um, Frank Lloyd Wright's another one that's a pretty busy exit. Uh, it's Frank Lloyd Wright and Bell. Well, this has been our brief uh, tour, if you will, uh, an introduction to somewhat of what the rush hour traffic can be like. Again, I, I will say that I don't think this is as heavy as I've seen it. I know it isn't. Uh, but it should give you a decent idea of what to expect if you're looking at the valley, uh, especially the south, southeast Scottsdale uh, side, uh, to know what your traffic is going to be like and try to figure out what your commute times will be like to help you decide where you're going to work and where you're going to live. Hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, comments down below. Ring that bell uh, so you get the notifications. And otherwise, just check back for the next video. And take care.